It was the hardest plane landing we had ever experienced. However, it was a safe landing, unlike the tragedies and near tragedies of many others. We had looked away from the plane window briefly, expecting a simple, uneventful landing, when suddenly our fully loaded 737 800 series jet weighing 172,500 pounds hit the runway hard and the passengers were momentarily stunned. We were among the last passengers to deboard. The captain was standing in the cockpit door as he greeted those ahead of us. With a smile on my face, I said to him, I won't ask you any questions. The two flight attendants standing with him laughed out loud as the captain responded, and I will tell you no lies. Are there some hard landings? Life experiences you never anticipated that you have not fully recovered from? Welcome to the Renaissance Gathering coming to you once again from Washington, D.C. Thank you for your prayers, encouragement, condolences, and support while we were in California to officiate the celebration of life service for Lynn's precious 95-year-old mom who is rejoicing with the Lord. You have no doubt experienced a hard landing of some kind on more than one occasion in your life where everything seemed normal and then suddenly life as you knew it abruptly changed. Your challenge in the middle of these sudden hard landings, whether physical illness, injury, unexpected or anticipated death, financial reversals or failed relationships can define your strengths or weaknesses and the way you approach the rest of your life. These are the times when your faith, just like the psalmist declared in Psalm 121, your faith is tested to its extreme. I lift up my eyes to the hills, the psalmist said. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Hold on tight to these promises when you experience a hard landing in your life. We live in a nation composed of people, institutions, culture, governments, and churches who are not prepared for the very hard landings that are to come when God and his ways have been overtly, blatantly, and vigorously rejected. I, like many of you, love our nation and work in Jesus' name to heal its hidden and glaring faults. The only thing that can truly protect this nation from self-imposed and self-destructive hard landings is a revival, a turning away from evil, and a turning to God through Jesus Christ. The church must be and only can be revived by the cleansing, restoring fire of the Holy Spirit. Revival is at its core, bloody because it must, in order to be real, involve the shed blood of Jesus Christ cleansing us from our sins. It is also messy because it reveals personally and corporately those areas of sin that must be cleansed and cleaned up. Only then can it be spread by the breath of God from the church to the culture. It is a movement of the Holy Spirit that brings honor to Jesus Christ and moves upon people to empower them to be used by God for His divine purposes. Revival also includes God's judgment upon a nation, 
His judgment has always been a part of people and nations being restored to a life-giving relationship with God. Today, we must be restored to that life-giving relationship to God through Jesus Christ. These are the times in which God has entrusted us to live and minister unto the Lord of Lords. No matter how many surprise hard landings each of us have experienced, remember these promises. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in. The Lord will bless you from this time forth and forevermore. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.